you ever wondered why the Australian media reports on domestic violence like this? He knew ways of manipulation and when to hit me, when not to hit me, where to leave bruises, that they weren't visible. Disguising a survivor's identity is often explained in the media as being done for legal reasons. But what are these legal reasons? Well, only a small minority of domestic violence cases actually end up in courtrooms, and a person can only be legally labelled a domestic abuser if found guilty by a judge or a jury. So naturally, suggesting or saying that a person has been violent towards their partner comes with a very high risk of being sued for defamation. Defamation is the publication of material which harms a person's reputation, and these cases get even trickier when dealing with offenders who are part of the legal system. There's been some research out of the US suggesting police may be two to four times more likely to be perpetrators than the public, placing their victims in an awful catch-22 when they try to seek help. One brave survivor who we've named Audrey spoke out for the first time about this type of violence in today's episode of The Briefing. But I think it's a lot to do with their mentality that they know how to get away with it a lot easier than what a civilian would. 